smallmouth, springtime, the Delaware River. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Hi, I'm Bob Murray, and welcome to another edition of Delaware Valley Outdoors. We're on the Delaware River. It's early spring. Uh, there's some shad fishing going on, but we're out here for smallmouth. Early spring, you have water temperature. It's still not, the water temperature is still a little cold yet. We still haven't had a, a really warm spell, so we're really going to work with some cold water temperatures today. We're going to be throwing some crankbaits, some spinner baits and maybe a jig and some uh, sluggos to see if we can catch some fish. There have been some nice fish in the water lately, um, catching some fish, but again, the water temperature has been down, so I don't know if we're going to get a lot of fish today, but I think if we catch some, we're going to catch some big ones. Springtime is the time that you really want to get out here now because that's when you're going to catch your, your larger fish, your big females, and you're going to catch a trophy fish. So stay tuned and we're going to do some great smallmouth fishing. One thing that you have to remember, you've got to get your lure really close to the target, especially now in the springtime. So I'm fishing a bank here of a lot of rock, and what I want to do is I want to put my bait right on the rocks so it's important because a lot of these fish are holding really tight to cover. So you want to get your bait right in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right up against these rocks. Don't be afraid to hit the rocks. That ain't going to hurt anything. Okay. We're coming up, we're at a little point here, and you want to work the back side of these points, or the slack side of the point, with your bait, because a lot of times the fish will be holding right on these edges. And I'm throwing my crankbait right up in there, and working it down. The fish like to have that bait coming down towards them. Now we're fishing this undercut bank and oh, come on these fish are strong oh, come here sweetheart oh, there we go. now we were fishing here like I had said before we're fishing an undercut bank and what I'm doing I'm just throwing the, the spinner bait into the Undercut bank, letting it come out and let it and it letting it drop, and you're picking up that. Look how fat that thing is. These fish are about ready to spawn. I'm sure we'll catch some other ones, but that's a nice little fish right there. Again, fish undercut banks, a little bit of spinner bait, drop it off. There you go. I just caught that fish, and I want to talk just a little bit that I've been throwing up into the banks and into the trees and stuff, and I have my line, you can, you can feel this, I know it's hard that you can't feel, but I can, that this line here is all frayed. And just a little while ago, I lost a very big fish because I didn't check my line. I lost a nice big smallmouth on a crankbait because I didn't check my line. So right here, I can feel it now. I'll take my scissors, cut that off, and retie. You should always remember to do that, especially if you're fishing heavy cover and stuff like that. I know I, I just get in, involved in, in fishing and sometimes I forget, but it's really important to 
check your line every so often because just like it happened to me and I'm out here doing doing this for a, a show and I lost a real nice fish because I didn't remember to retie. So when you're out here and you're fishing, it only takes a couple of seconds, retie and you won't be sorry. All right, let me catch another fish now. There's only one fishing lure proven to catch all these fish and virtually every species of game fish in North America. It's the banjo minnow, the world's first and only genetic response fishing lure. Hello everybody, I'm Bill Dance. Well, I'm here to tell you the banjo minnow is truly the most exciting thing I've seen in a mighty long time. The banjo minnow will outfish every fishing lure in existence today. We had made a fishing lure that actually made fish bite, even if they weren't hungry. And it works. It's amazing, totally amazing. I've not missed a fish on the banjo minnow. Just is amazing. It's just unbelievable. Have your credit card ready and call now to order the complete 110-piece banjo fishing system. You get 24 banjo minnows in three different sizes and four colors. Banjo weedless bait hooks, counterbalance jigs, and much, much more. All yours for only $29.95. For faster service, have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen right now. This bait is phenomenal. Bucks Gunny Outfitters is one of the largest selections of fishing equipment in Upper Bucks, including rods, reels, tackle, live bait, fly fishing, saltwater supplies, and licenses. Bucks Gunny Outfitters will repair your broken rod or reel and will buy your complete used tackle boxes, rods, reels, and lures. Not just for the fishermen, Bucks Gunny Outfitters features a full-service deli with delicious breakfast sandwiches, plus steaks and hoagies. Bucks County Outfitters is open Tuesday through Sunday starting at 5 a.m. Located on Route 313 and Fifth Streets, Percocet. Hi, this is Bob Murray. Delaware Valley Outdoors is now on the internet. Our internet address is www.dvoutdoors.com. Visit Delaware Valley Outdoors for the latest in regional fishing reports, weather conditions, maps, pros tips, and product updates. Why not visit us on the web? I want to take a minute and discuss a little bit about what we were doing today. We we're basically casting our, our baits, either it would be the crankbait or the spinnerbait, and what we're doing is we're putting it right basically on shore. The fish we found were holding almost right, right on the shoreline. They were very tight to shore. They weren't out here at all. They were real close to the shoreline. So what we were doing, we are casting in and we were getting the fish strikes, at least the strikes, were coming anywhere from the first two to uh, three feet uh, off the bank. And you had to be uh, right on the bank. And as soon as that bait hit the water and made maybe like two or three bops, the fish had to strike. With the spinner bait, I was casting the spinnerbait up into the shallows and I would bring it out and just let it flutter. Maybe the first uh, three feet and just let it flutter down. That's where most of my strikes were coming from uh, on, on the spinnerbait. Crankbait was just the same thing. I was casting it up and having it hit the rocks and within the first two to three feet, I'd pause it 
and I would get the strike. Another thing you have to remember is with this cold water, you don't need to be moving the bait that fast. So you can just pause it, and basically that's when you're going to get your strike, either when you pause the spinner bait and let, it, and let a helicopter or let it fall, or pause that crankbait, that's when you're going to get the hit. There's a little tip for you. Fish and Tails, located in Wrightstown, is the perfect store for fishermen and hunters. For the fishermen, we offer 13 types of live bait, fly fishing supplies, and gear for both fresh and saltwater anglers. For the hunter, Fish and Tails offers hunting equipment and supplies. You can also purchase your fishing or hunting license. Personal service is important. If there's something you don't see in the store, we'll special order it from you from one of our numerous catalogs. For your convenience, our store is open early seven days a week. So stop in any time and trade your fishtails with us. There's only one fishing lure proven to catch all these fish and virtually every species of game fish in North America. It's the banjo minnow, the world's first and only genetic response fishing lure. Hello everybody, I'm Bill Dance. But I'm here to tell you, the banjo minnow is truly the most exciting thing I've seen in a mighty long time. The banjo minnow will outfish every fishing lure in existence today. We had made a fishing lure that actually made fish bite even if they weren't hungry. And it works. It's amazing, totally amazing. I've not missed a fish on the banjo minnow. Just is amazing. It's just unbelievable. Have your credit card ready and call now to order the complete 110-piece banjo fishing system. You get 24 banjo minnows in three different sizes and four colors. Banjo weedless bait hooks, counterbalance jigs, and much, much more. All yours for only $29.95. For faster service, have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen right now. This bait is phenomenal. The Outdoor Shop in Quakertown offers everything you need for your fishing and hunting supplies. We specialize in used bows and handmade gun and rod racks. For the fishermen, we feature jigs, spinners, sinkers, flies, and hand-packed live bait. We're open early seven days a week for your convenience. You can also purchase your hunting and fishing licenses at the Outdoor Shop. Don't just count on luck. Visit the outdoor shop before you fish or hunt. And while you're there, you can try your luck on the instant lottery. The Tackle Box is sponsored by Durstein Lures. Locally made, locally tested. We're here with the Tackle Box section of the show. And today, basically, we were using two lures. One, a red crankbait. Uh, again, like I mentioned in last uh, last show we did, that red is a great springtime uh, color. Uh, we're doing quite well with the red uh, crankbait today. Uh, again, I always tell you to make sure that it's got rattles in it. And one thing that you have to understand when you're using a crankbait like this, that it's also important to use the proper rod and line with that. Now, I have a crankbait rod that we've brought out and what it does, it's made especially to use with crankbaits because of its flexibility and the amount of give that it get, gives you when you're catching a fish because what happens a lot of times with the faster rod tips and the materials that they're made out of, either the, um, the fiberglass or the, um, the graphite, graphite is a lot faster and a lot of times it had a tendency not to give to the fish. With the rod that I was using today, the rod has a lot of give to it. Uh, a lot of guys have even gone to fiberglass because of the amount of, of, of give that the rod will uh, allow you so that it doesn't tear the baits out of the uh, fish's mouth. So if you're going to use crankbaits, get yourself a rod that is quite limber. 
and you'll be surprised how many more fish uh, you'll catch. Another bait that we were using today was a rattle trap. Now the rattle trap here is a small one and I like to use the small baits right now again in the river uh, for smallmouth uh, because the bait, the, the forage isn't big right now and so a real small little red crankbait like this or rattle trap like this will work really well. We had some, we had some nice, uh, nice fish on this one today also. Again, it's got, got a lot of rattle to it and what we're doing here, this bait really works well in the type of fishing we were doing today because you can stop this bait and when you, when you pause this bait, it does this, it just drops right down. And when that happens, that's when we were catching the fish, we we're getting a strike. As soon as we'd get this thing rattling and then pause it, it would just start to settle back down. Boom, we'd get the hit. The other bait that we used today was a spinnerbait. I mentioned I downsized the spinner baits for today because I don't know what the fish were just into some smaller baits today. They've been having or been hitting some bigger baits, but today they wanted a smaller bait. And again, I just have a small uh, red spinner bait. Again, I like the red color today. It just seems to be working. With one of the things I want to mention here too is that the back of the blades are gold. Okay, and that made a really big difference. When I brought that out, because we got a pretty high sky today, and that gold, when I would, when I would flutter this spoon, it really picked up a lot, a lot of nice flash, and it really attracted the fish. So you can go with silver, but I, I tell you what, I like the gold part of it. It was, it was good. This is a, a real small bait. It's only an eighth ounce bait. It's a little hard to throw. We have a, had a lot of wind today, um, so it was a little hard to throw in the wind. But again, you want to catch some fish in the springtime, use a red bait, downsize it, and I think you'll, uh, you'll do good. The Tackle Box is sponsored by Durstein Lures. Locally made, locally tested. A lot of guys are afraid to use a bait casting reel. Uh, you know, I hear the same thing. I threw it a couple of times and I got this big bird's nest and I just can't figure out how to cast it. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips uh, to get started when you start your, with your bait casting. One is a little knob right here, it's called the cast control. What that does, it regulates the amount of line that comes off the spool as it spins. You can crank this down, tighten it up and your line will come out very slowly. If you loosen it up, it comes off quickly. What a lot of guys do, they don't tighten it down enough and the spool revolves too much and that's what happens. So if you start out, basically turn it down. One little tip I want to show you now, and that is with your cast control. Now see if I can do this right in front of it here. Right now, when I press engage the reel, or disengage the reel, my line slides down. That's awfully fast. What you should do is crank this up as tight as you can get it, and now when I disengage the reel, it doesn't even move. What I want to do now is just loosen it up just enough to get the bait to start to fall. Well, I can do that. That's what I got in here. There. Right. right at that point, just crank it back just a little bit so the bait barely falls. Try that and you'll be able to cast as you start out to learn. But because if you have it revolving too fast, that first cast obviously is going to be um, way too much for you. So get your cast controls right on the side here on all the models, crank it down so your bait starts just barely to fall. 
When you do that, just tape it a little bit more so it's hardly fall, then begin to cast. Another tip, when you're casting, make sure that you keep the real handles up. Now, a lot of times we cast like this, but to start out, you should always be casting like this so that your real handle is on a 90 degree versus this, okay? It will help in line coming off and it'll save you some uh, trouble on uh, overrides. Again, when you're getting cast, make sure you keep the real handles up. Another feature that I personally like is a thumb bar, okay? That's where I can put my thumb and control the line because you must, in all cases, I don't care what kind of reel you have, you have to use your thumb in order to slow this spool down. A lot of people ask, well, Bob, what's the advantages of using a bait caster over a spinning rod? Again, it's like anything else. It's a tool that you use for fishing the job that you're doing. Spinning rods are, are excellent for throwing uh, light baits, uh, jigs, that type of stuff. I, I basically fish uh, for walleye with a spinning rod. Bait casters are much more control oriented. You can stop this, uh, the lure, uh, in any, any direction you want, whether it's up on a bank or something like that, where in a spinning rod, you really can't. You can, you can palm it a little bit, but this gives you much more control, especially when you're throwing baits into cover or up against uh, rip wrap and things like that. It's a lot easier for you to control your, uh, your lures with this type of, of bait. Also, um, the reels, uh, that you can put heavier line on it. Spinning rods, unless you go to a really big salt water type reel, do not handle heavy pound test line very well. That's why most of the guys that fish the heavy lines obviously usually go to uh, the bait casters because they handle 15, 20, 25 pound uh, test line on a very small compact reel. If you try to put 15, 20 pound test on a, on a regular type reel, uh, spinning reel, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't work. One other thing, I have another type of reel here. If you're starting out, it has magnets, okay? What you do is you crank this either down for minimum or up here for maximum. And the magnets actually control the, the revolutions of the reel. So you don't have to worry too much. It's sort of like that the cast control that, that I showed you on the other reel. And you can use that in conjunction with, on this rod here also, also has a cast control. Now, we're out today and it's fairly windy. This is a really good thing to have when you're fishing with wind because throwing a bait into the wind with a bait caster can really, really be a trouble. Uh, you know, we all hate the wind when, it, when it's like that, especially when we have to fish into it. So you can use your cast control and your magnets to control that. Hey, bait casting is not that hard. Get out there, try it, get in the front lawn and practice casting. Don't try to get out on the water and say, I'm going to do that because you get frustrated and you won't pick the reel back up. Get out on the front yard, backyard and practice. Put a can, put a, a, a box, anything, and just practice casting to it and you'll get the hang of it. I know it'll just be another thing in your tools to catch fish. Hey, this is Bob Murray. Searching for personalized service and one-stop shopping for all your hunting and fishing needs? Then come to Tanner's Gun and Sports Center. Tanner's offers a wide variety of hunting and fishing gear, featuring guns, rifles, a complete line of rods and reels, live bait, tackle, archery supplies, and hunting and fishing apparel. Tanner's is also your stop for guns bought, sold, and traded. In addition, be sure to check out Tanner's innovative indoor archery range with on-screen video scoring to help you improve your bow and arrow hunting. Tanner's Gun and Sports Center in Jamison, 343-3103. It may be winter outside, but you don't have to stop swinging. Come to All American Sports on North Main Street in Dublin this winter. We offer a climate control facility with 11 hitting stations, a large putting green, a shipping green with sand trap, and swing analysis. So to get you swinging right for spring or that long-awaited golf vacation, come to All American Sports and sign up for private lessons or golf clinics for all levels of golfers from our professional staff. It doesn't have to be perfect weather outside because it's always perfect inside at All American Sports. Dale Clements Custom Tackle, the world's largest supplier of custom rod building tools and supplies, located in the Lehigh Valley since 1975. 
They also carry wheels, line, hooks, and lure making equipment. Dale Plumbing's offers a 100 page catalog so you can shop in the convenience of your home or stop by our catalog showroom. We'll have a qualified rod builder to assist you. Dale Cummins features Loomis, Lama Glass, Custom Builder, and All-Star Blanks, along with the best guides, Fuji. So why wait? Call 610-395-5119 or visit us today. Hi, this is Bob Murray. Delaware Valley Outdoors is now on the Internet. Our Internet address is www.dvoutdoors.com. Visit Delaware Valley Outdoors for the latest in regional fishing reports, weather conditions, maps, pros tips, and product updates. Why not visit us on the web? We caught some nice fish on crankbaits and spinnerbaits, spring fishing, smallmouth bass, Delaware River. Hey, this is Bob Murray, meeting you again for another edition of Delaware Valley Outdoors.